everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the first part of my declutter series and I, for the average person, I do have a lot of makeup, but by YouTube standards, I definitely, um, you know, don't. Um, I have some products a lot more than others, um, and one of those is lipsticks. But what I found with my lipsticks is I purchased a clear cube organizer from Home Goods this year, and I basically fit a majority of my makeup in there. But what I found is my lipsticks I wasn't reaching for. I decided to get a organizer from Amazon, so I got a lipstick organizer, which I will link down below. I did have a Lux. Was it Lux Box organizer that had the drawers, the and then there were extra spots for lip liners and stuff. But um, I ended up breaking that one accidentally in my old setup, so I had to go with cheaper option for uh, right now. So I, if you'll notice my hand, I already swatched a bunch of these, trying to kind of make this go a little bit quicker. So uh, let's just get started. I'm gonna start just picking from here. Um, cause like I said, I've actually gone through some of these and I kind of know what I want to get rid of and then there's things that I'm on the fence about. So the first thing I see in here is this, um, matte lipstick from LAC. And this is just really matte and drying and drags on your lips and I just, I don't like it at all. So I'm going to be getting, getting rid of that. And then next I have, um... Our next matte lipstick and natural. I do like this. I'm going to be keeping this. Um, and then a Milani lipstick and Upton Mauve. I really like the Milani lipsticks. Um, I like the scent and I like their colors. Um, so I am going to be keeping this one. And then I have the Milani lipstick in nude cream. I actually am going to be getting rid of this one. It's too light for me. Um, I really just don't like it on my skin tone, so um, I'm going to pass it on to someone who might like it better. I have a bunch of these little lipsticks from um, a Bare Minerals um, gift, I think it was last year or two years ago. I'm actually going to keep these. There's a few colors I won't use. There's, I think there's one I might get rid of, but um, I'm going to keep these um, and see if I like them. I like smaller lipsticks because A, I will use them up. Um, these are cute and little and B um, I can try colors and you know have more of a variety without having so many so, so anyway I have these two I should say these two are the moxies and lead the way and a living large and I'm keeping both of these one's like a berry color and the other one's like a mid-toned pinky brown mauvey color and then the next thing I have is this um, Wet Wild Matte Lipstick. And I had a bunch of these, but I got rid of most of them. Um, and this one, I can't seem to get rid of it. It's a really pretty color. This one is the Wine, is wine Room. So I'm going to be keeping that. And then next I have is this lip, oh, Beach Cosmetics. One of these lip locks. And it is the color Faithful. I like this. It's like a nudie pink color. Um, kind of by the darker side, so I will be keeping that. And then next I have one of these um, Maybelline lipsticks in brown blush, a matte. I tried this on and it's like a brownie nude color and it's just not my taste and my style. I really um, didn't like it. I think I was trying to be outside the box, but it's just not my thing, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then next I have a NARS, it's the only NARS lipstick I have, and this one is in Raquel, and it's like a peachy nude. I like this color a lot. Um, I don't wear it as much as I should, but I definitely want to keep this, and I love the magnetic uh, packaging. The next I have this Milani um, lipstick, and it's one of, from their special edition. I had like a, a lip gloss, which is really pretty. I have the lip gloss as well, and then the lipstick in Dulce. Um, I hadn't really thought about this, but I think what I want to do with this is use it as, um, it's kind of much on its own, 
but it is really pretty and I think I want to use it as a lip topper in like the middle of your lips so I'm definitely keeping that it's really pretty and the gloss is really pretty as well um, the next thing I see here is another um, Milani lipstick and in the color Sangria I'm definitely keeping that and then I have a Too Faced um, La Creme I think these are La Creme yeah lipstick in pink chocolate I actually have two of these right so I am going to get rid of one I'm just going to see which one I've used I think I've used this one so I'm going to get rid of this one because I'm definitely not going to use up to with the amount of lipsticks I have um, the next thing I have is another Milani lipstick in Matte Orchid. I'm going to keep this one. I prefer to use, I have a couple of bright pinks like this and I'm debating on what to keep and what not to keep. Um, I really think if I'm going to do a bright color like this, I want mostly to do a um, matte formula, which this is a matte formula. So I think that's what I might switch over to when I do these bright statement lips. But Matte Orchid's really pretty. I had swatched it earlier, and I don't, like I said, wear it enough, and I definitely want to get more use out of it. So I'm keeping that. And then this is a Bite Beauty lipstick, and it is in the color uh, Maraschino. And it's a bright red, and it's a real, like, summer red. And I don't use this as much as I should, so I'm definitely going to keep this and get some use out of that. And then next is another one of these little moxie lipsticks, and this is in the color Hit My Mark, and it's like a dark red. I'm going to keep that. And then I have the Sum Hayek Nuance lipstick, and it's like a, it's a metallic, and I just, I'm, it's pretty, but I never use it, and I think if I remember it, the formula is really, really creamy, and it l leaves your lips, so I think I want to get rid of this. The next thing I have is another Moxie, and it's a go, go the Distance, and it's like a peachy color. I'm keeping that. And then another Moxie in go, Be Brilliant, and it's like a brownie, metallic, peachy, or not peachy, like nude color. I'm keeping this one, and I have a MAC lipstick in Viva Glam 4, I am keeping that. This is a Stila, I don't remember what they were called, Color Balm Lipstick in Amelia, and it's a pink, real like pink color. I like this a lot, I'm going to keep it. I hadn't used it in a really long time, and then I used it when I was up north and I really liked that. And then Plum Rose, again from Milani. I think this is a really pretty color. I wear a lot in the fall and winter. I'm keeping that. And I have, I really like Maybelline lipsticks, so I have a bunch of them. I have this in Red Revival, which is a nice red. I am keeping that. And Touch of Spice in the matte, which is all beat up, but I am keeping this one. So I have two of these from Sony Keshek that came in their Holly collection. They are really pretty. They're matte. This is like a brownie red, and this one is like a dark pinky nude color. I am definitely keeping both of these. I have a um, Brevlon Lustrous Lipstick in Mauvey Night, um, which is a pretty mauve color. I'm going to keep this. I really like these L'Oreal, the packaging. This is in the color Enduring Berry, um, and I'm going to be keeping this as well. And then I have another Maybelline lipstick and Blushing the Bud. I might try this one on because I don't know if this pink is going to be super flattering. I'm actually going to pass this on because it's not the best color for me. And then I have a I should have grabbed these, but I have, I'm going to grab the rest of these little, um, Barrett Minerals lipsticks and do them all together. So I have four, four more and I have Rise Up, Do It All, 
get ready and make your move. And I think I'm going to get rid of this really, let me put these on, this really light pink color. Because it's just not a color I will wear ever. And then the rest I think I'm going to keep and try. So then I have, actually I'm going to get the rest of these matte lipsticks from Maybelline. Um, I have Faint for Fuchsia, Lust for Blush, Faint for Fuchsia, uh, Divine Wine. Blushing Pout and Mesmerizing Magenta. I'm definitely keeping a Touch of Spice and Lust for Blush. Uh, Divine Wine, I'm definitely keeping because I wear that a lot. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. This one is Blushing Pout and it's broken, so I'm just going to get rid of that one. And then Mesmerizing Magenta and for fuchsia. I'm going to keep both of these because I do like them a lot. You know, I actually, I think I'm going to ri get rid of paint for fuchsia because I think I would prefer to have this color in like a matte liquid lip. So I'm going to get rid of that and see if someone else wants it. Uh, I have two more of these Revlon lipsticks. Honey Bear and Blush. Honey Bear is super light. And I, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Honey Bear. And I do really like blush, so I'm keeping blush. And then I have two more of the um, Too Faced lipsticks. I have Sugar Daddy, which is like a nude, pinky nude, which I'm keeping. And Rebel Heart, which is a dark kind of brick red um, matte formula, which I'm keeping. Um, and then, grab the rest of these. I have these three Maybelline lipsticks. I have Mauve It, Party Pink, and Pink Me Up. Um, I'm going to keep all three. I'm going to try Pink Me Up because I might end up getting rid of this one. But I do really like Party Pink. It was a um, limited edition. And I haven't really used Mauve It a whole ton. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep this other, this Color Whisper um, by L'Oreal and uh, Berry Ready. I know they don't make these anymore, but I really like this for the winter, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to keep the my Gwen Stefani Firebird Lipstick. I really like this color. Um, and so I'm going to keep this one. Um, this is a, another Maybelline Stormy Sahara. I think it was from a limited edition color. I really like this color. I'm keeping that. Um, this is the a e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick in Cheeky, and it's a metallic. I've got enough metallic lipsticks. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I have this Butter London lipstick, which is really pretty. I'm keeping this. Um, this is my MAC lipstick limited edition from the Summer Collection. I'm keeping that. Um, I have this Estee Lauder Lipstick in Rebellious Rose. I'm going to keep this. And then I have this Lorac Lipstick in Seductress. I'm going to keep that. I have a Bite Lipstick in Rosewood, one of their buttercreams. I'm keeping this. And then I think I have this is an Essence Lipstick and Blush My Lips. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to keep, I think, this Lip Lux from Lorac. I don't know for sure if I'm going to use it, but I'm going to try it. Um, and then if I don't like it, um, it's a fall color, I will uh, declutter it then. So I think I'm, that's where I'm going to end it because um, that was quite a bit of lipsticks. Another. Um, so not too bad. I did. I got rid of three, six. 9, 
11. So not too bad. Um, I'm really trying to hold off on buying lipsticks and things. Um, I know I have some that I probably are going to expire on me, so I need to use those up. Um, but um, I think definitely having them out is going to help. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.